everyone, Jules here. Today I'd like to show one of my favourite traditional decks and that is the ancient Italian tarot published by Lo Scarabeo in 2001. And this is quite a beautiful deck. I really love the artwork. That's the chariot card on the box and on the back of the box it shows the Queen of Cups. And this is a great traditional tarot. I really like this deck not only because of the beautiful artwork but I also like the way that the cards are numbered in this deck. It's actually quite a good beginner's deck for someone who wants to start using traditional tarot decks. So I'll show you some of the cards and I'll show you what I mean exactly by that. I'm going to show some of the major arcana to start with. Here's the backs of the cards. And the card stock is quite good with this deck because it's a traditional deck and Los Scarabeo seems to have better quality card stock for their traditional decks. So that is really good. So the first card I'm going to show is the Fool card, which is a traditional Fool card. And I love the colouring in this deck too. It's quite a unique deck. I think that's a great Fool card. Here's the Chariot card that's on the box. Now this I want to point out about the numbering of the cards which is different to most traditional decks. What is great about this deck is it shows the Roman numerals which most traditional tarot decks have but this deck also shows the usual kind of numbering as well so that anyone who is not familiar with Roman numerals and keeps forgetting what the Roman numerals are for which numbers this has got both on the major arcana. So I think that's really useful for people. So I think that's great. I have not seen many traditional decks with Roman numerals and conventional numbering. Here's the Hermit card. And it has the Italian name for the card here but because the numbering is the usual numbering as well as the Roman numerals it's really helpful again and the images are quite recognizable anyway so that's the hermit card wheel of fortune or this deck really says wheel or the wheel in Italian. It's just such a beautiful deck. Really love the artwork. Death card. Now this is a little bit unusual too because sometimes in traditional decks the death card is not numbered at all. So with this one, you're getting the same thing with the other major arcana cards. You're getting the Roman numerals and the usual numbering on the card. And it, you also got that on the bottom of the card too, which is really useful. It's a great death card. Temperance. I 
love the colouring for the deck too. Devil. Great devil card. Tower. Star. the moon great moon card now I'm going to show you the minor arcana which are pips but they are numbered and I think again it's a great way to learn a pip deck Ace of Wands, the Aces are not numbered but they don't need to be, Two of Wands, what is really good is that they've got the usual numbering in each corner and normally you only have Roman numerals for these types of decks. So to have a number in each corner is really useful. And the Knight of Wands, which is really Batons in this deck, or Bastoni. But you can see that's the Knight of Wands. All of the Knights are on horses, which is easy to remember as well. Cups cards, Ace of Cups, there's a cute little cherub on here, Three of Cups, and the threes are in the middle of the cards where there are more than two. That's useful as well, being right in the middle like that. Three of Cups. And Page of Cups. Then Swords. Ace of Swords. Three of Swords, this one has a number in all four corners, but I like the way with the Swords, you can clearly see it's Swords because of the sword in the middle for some of the cards which is really useful. Queen of Swords, which is actually spades or spade in Italian. Queen of Swords. And then the coins. Ace of Coins. Four of Coins, the number in the middle, and the King of Coins, which is called 
denarii in Italian. It's quite a good king of coins. Okay, so they are some of the cards from the Ancient Italian Tarot, published by Los Garabeo in 2001. And I hope you enjoyed seeing those cards and may consider that deck for your first traditional or pip deck. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.